Right, welcome back to Project Audi. We are uh, cracking on here. We've painted all that subframe. Uh, we've painted all the body underneath from the front wheels back, if you like. Um, we've taken off the backing plates because they're knackered. And this bolt broken in here, so I have drilled through it. So I just need to chip what's left out and then we'll see what we need to do if we need to retap. I keep all these kind of grub screws. Uh, the wheel burn seems okay, so if the wheel burn fell rough, we would, you know, I like to, don't fall, we would like to change it, but the wheel burn feels okay, so Obviously that's meant to be to there, not anymore, that's meant to sit on there like so, that's a wheel burn itself, feels okay, so obviously you see we painted all there, we painted all here, so I need to get these off and either get new ones or put some washers on these for the time being. It does need pads in this, so we're going to just strip it all back down. And now we've got the new bolts, pins, slides, all that kind of stuff. We should be able to, you know, service it again. But we'll put it all together now, uh, just to make it mobile. Uh, just to make it mobile, so we can get it off this ramp and get it spun round. We need to put the fuel filter, I've painted all the bracket on it as well. We need to put a fuel filter on it. Uh, and we've got some load of bits there, uh, and we need to scope this wiring for the fuel wheel pressure sensors and see where the bolt is. So we'll crack on here, we'll chip away at this bolt. I'll probably just need to get a punch and punch what's left of it out and get a clean up with a, a tap. Uh, I'd rather say come out and bother. So it's just this side unfortunately. I did try chapping around and it just sheared on me so uh, I'll need to clean all the holes out as well because obviously we need new bolts there. From Audi. A couple of screws, you can see what happened to the old ones, and there's what happened to the slide pin. Yeah, so you see it, it's been fun and games, isn't it? Eh? Fun and games. So aye, it's been fun, 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 when all the bolts start breaking. Oh, that's a bit of So hopefully today, no broken bolts. Sam here. Project Audi. Got our shockers. Fitted. We need to take it all up. Um, Top frame's all back on and I have aligned it up as best I can with where the washer marks were. You can't see on the front because I've painted those plates. So, but, so we've got lots of bits to do and I've, I, see I've put some silicon on there. I mean, I could buy that new, but what's the point? Uh, so what's the point? I'll just, no, uh, it's the to deflect stuff, I think. So, I don't know what it's doing actually. I don't know why there's a bit of rubber here, but put it back on. Put it back on with some silicon because just all the rust had swollen up. It was never going to give up again, so we just decided to do that. Painted my fuel filter guard and they have a well, support, sorry for the fuel filter. Painted that. Got a new fuel filter, man, OE quality. And we have a new Bosch uh, pressure, not pressure sensor, DRV valve there as well for it, um, which we may fit, may not. Um, we'll soon see, we'll scope it and see what's going on. Um, so I look at a few bits to do on the rear, just need to get the, the back tidied up really. Just put all the, the guards, the wheel arch linings back on, all the heat shields and stuff. I will need to inquire, I'd hate to have to change a fuel tank for that. So that wee bit there, you can see these are for the heat shields and they're all rotten apart for the ones. I mean the tank ones, they seem okay, they're rusty right? and I will get new ones eventually but they're okay at the minute. I think they're still solid enough. So. But aye, these bits, I mean, I would, surely you can get them out of there, but uh, no Volkswagen will be discontinued or something. So I we need to get the heat shields back on it. No the rest of it, I can kind of fix the heat shields, some big washers, if I can, I'll get new ones. Uh, but I've tied up all the underside, and then once we get this all back together, we need to get a new plastic for that side, that was all smashed. So uh, it happened in the snow. So we'll need to get the new plastic, get all that on and then we'll move on to the front. So if you haven't already, thanks for watching. There was our old incredibly crusty shock absorbers. I've old crusty pads and this. I've seen all that broken dramas with the bolts, so hopefully there's no more of that. Right, mother truckers. That's the bar it's taking to move the bolt for the wheel bearings, right? And it was bending the bar, so I had to buy that bar specifically for this job to run us with you, so thankfully I did it. So I've got the two wheel bearings off, got the new backing plates on, I had to replace a couple of bolts, but it doesn't matter, so they're all, all good. See the subframe, it's still been powder coated, it wasn't even rotten to death, anything like that, so... To be honest with you, what I probably should have done was just took all the bushes out, it, took all the arms out it and sent it away for powder coating, to be honest with you, because it's probably good enough to be powder coated, this one. Um, but just cheap, cheap paint. 
it's a cheap cheap paint um, put the backing plates on it the parts are raking up on it even this one piece of plastic here 99 plus the vat so everything's expensive for them front suspension arms you can do the both floors both sides i'm not going to see any change at 500 um, unless i put cheap cap on i'm going to put cheap cap on so we've got all that to do Rear pads and discs, pads and discs are there, so hopefully there's no issues with the calipers or anything there wasn't before we touched it. Shocks and springs are done. Right. Uh, these are either discontinued or not available, so we just need to leave them as is at the minute. If we need to make some, we'll need to make some for it eventually. We need to put the exhaust on it, tighten up our body stuff and our and all that jazz. So oven's back on here, the fuel filter's all back on and been primed up with a 40. So you can see you've got two 40s on it and look at the dust on it. <laughs> so once we get it off of here, we'll probably be about two shifts just washing it. Um, so there you go, we've got the wheels to get done as well. Alloys are up here. Right, party people, we have done the P's and D's, right? So I've already been on and made sure everything is turned in after we've worked the handbrake on and off, etc, etc. So obviously we reconditioned those uh, carriers. 250 plus of that. Um, we've got new flex and new caliper. Uh, this side's about three on our side, so I might end up replacing that other caliper as well. Load of wiring out there, we've got a wiring fault with another vehicle. So we are onto this one at the minute. So we have our DRV valve, we'll go back to our big table of parts. We have you, we've got a Bosch DRV valve for this one here. Um, and I will. I've already cracked all the injector pipes off here, eh? so this is the first time this car has ever had the injector pipes off it since I've had it anyway. I mean, I've had it for new, unless it, <laughs> unless when it was back in the dealer they did this and out it, mind you. But so I've never had the injector pipes off it anyway. I've done a timing belt on it. We do have another kit there for it. Um, so we'll crack on here. Hey, the money pit. That's how you flush the coolant, you need to do all of that off. See if the red man get time on that when you start right? No, no. Start so you just grab it and check it. Yeah, <laughs> Make sure. Hi, hi, hi. Go, hold it, man. Right, hopefully that's in the right position. Should be, but it's always the same with these ones. It's, so there's where it locates up there. See, so uh, Midge's deck out. Right, that's better. That's better up there. So, hopefully, that one is correct to Mundo to go back on. Hopefully, anyway, the springs look great. So, happy days. Right, so new lamps, so they're all good, these LEDs are all good, one out man, I hate that, I hate that, so this one here, the terminal is all rotten on it and the terminal come with, so I had to pick it out, so thankfully it's working, so, oh I need to put a screw in that one actually, put a screw in this one, but, so thankfully it is all working. Clips rotted away. That's just too rotten to hold it now, so I could be doing my tailgate. Screen wash, part and brake, fuel, brake fluid, screen wash. Nothing for real lights, but so obviously we've got a load of bits off it. So I don't want all the lights. Right, guys and gals, the one gal that's watching. Thanks for watching that one gal. All you other gals out there, if you haven't started watching, please watch and hit that subscribe, okay? So anyway, as you can see, we are still on Audi project. It's year uh, 2050 and we're still going with it. So no, it feels that way, but uh, and to be honest with you, my dad has done a majority of the work on this car now. Um, so basically, uh, basically I had to draft in the help, so, because it's, it's just trying to get the time to do it, trying to get the time to do it, it's just impossible um, when you're doing your own business, to be honest with you, so, um, we've cracked on now, we've 
basically we never filmed a lot of it. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of footage on it, but um, since then we've did the front suspension arms. We've did uh, heaven belt water pump. We've did that twice. We'll get that to a minute. Um, and we did the master cylinder, unfortunately, right? So I've put on it all the new brake flexi hoses. So we put the back ones on, new caliper as well up there, new pads and discs, new backing plates. So new backing plates, right? New pads and discs, new caliper, right? Um, I've just bead sealed the wheels and now I do need to get them done. Um, but I need the caliper lift at the minute. So basically, we've did the rear springs, the rear shocks, Two rear backing plates, rear pads and discs, one caliper, two flexi pipes, one exhaust bracket on the rear as well. Um, I've put all these bits back on as best I can. I'll go and grab the torch wherever that is went. Uh, what is the torch? Where is it vent? Torch! Where are you? It's on the side of the dual box. So basically, I've put a new OE fuel filter up, man, OE fuel filter as well. We do need to order another bit of plastic here, you can see I've obviously missed a bit. So we need to get that front section right. So I've put all the heat shields as well back on. I've painted up this body stuff now, right? We've replaced this bit of plastic. These are either discontinued um, or just not available. One of the two. So you can see our new flexi pipes as well, right? And you can see my lovely modifications to the heat shields there. Um, and what else do I have modifications on? You see that lovely modification there? Okay, no, don't say, oh, that's going to melt that bit of rubber you put in there in that plastic nut. It should not get hot enough here. Although that is the only one it needs for its MOT. <laughs> so I've put it back on. Okay, so I can probably get all new ones if they still make them. That one tight? Yeah, tight. So on to the front. Two new suspension arms. Um, new pads, the discs were new, um, so there's new pads on there, um, and we have put new flexes, again new flexes, could probably be doing to putting new backing plates, oh aye, that's right, springs as well, and I've painted, as you can see, I've painted all the underneath the wheel arch liners, same as we did on the front, I'm not happy with how the car's sitting, right, so I'm glad that the stickers on the shocks have still got the weight on them, they still got the, the sticker on it, because I'm not happy with the car when the weight's on it, to be honest with you. Um, so I've put these Monroe's on the back uh, and these, I think they're KYB springs. I may take them back off again. I know the front springs are right because I matched that one up, but I don't uh, have a choice with the back one. I don't think one of them was already changed before I touched it. Uh, I had one of the technicians in here do it, so. Um, and we also, we had a drama with the sump as well, the, the sump bolt had been cross threaded on it on the technicians, there's only one other guy other than me and the guys in the Audi who serviced the car and I know the last time that I serviced it anyway, the sump bolt was fine, um, but when I put the new one in, it would not tighten, so I had to get the, that's a bigger sized bolt, so that goes up to a 15 by 1.5, the ones in these just now is M14 by 1.5. So we then put a time belt and all that on it as well. Um, did that and then I thought, right, I'll put these two flexes on the front um, and then we couldn't get a brake pedal. And I thought, what on earth is going on? So we had a brake pedal, I think we got to the near side rear bleeding it. Um, and the pedal just fell away. Absolutely fell away to the point where I decided that the master cylinder must have failed. It must have failed. I was wrong. So I put a master cylinder on it, okay. Still could not get a pedal and I thought what an earth man it has to be just trapped there then so yes it was so I went and got that thing big sealy big pressure bleeder uh, and that seemed to do the trick so we seem to have a lot of air trapped between the basically the ABS pump and the master cylinder so although we we're getting fluid to all the brake nipples just we we're not getting anywhere with it so thankfully we eventually got to the bottom of it but I did I did lose my patience, as you can see, uh, I'm not one for you know, losing my patience anymore, to be honest with you, but that is the remnants of a bin, um, and I did lose my patience with it, uh, and it may have taken the brunt of my frustrations, but the car's fixed now, so <laughs> moving on, <laughs> moving on, moving on, so yeah, we did the time belt as well on it, and that big blue box up there's got all the timing tools in it, and put it all on, started up, Instant, boom, started up, brilliant, great, absolutely fantastic. However, we had a flashing glow plug light. Um, so I decided to take it uh, apart again to check it. And uh, lo and behold, pinned it all up 
and it repinned. So I thought, what the hell's going on? So I just put it down to a faulty tensioner, one of these. So I sent it back and got another one, just did the exact same thing, and it's all good now, thankfully. So we'll pause here and uh, we'll get the cab off this lift now because it has been long overdue. So hopefully it drives off here, no issues. We also did two back lamps as well on it. Um, so these back tail lamps, you can see the pins have all rotted out of that there. So we did two of those, changed the boot on the caliper over there as well. Yeah, and they've still got a few issues with it. We could be doing with some aircon pipes. They're very expensive, I think 340 plus the VAT for one. So I can do without aircon at the minute. So I will get it fixed. Right, so you can see what the next mission is cleaning it. And uh, you can see that my dad's been waiting on it. You know, driving home for Christmas. Six million dollar car. Rebuild. Yes. But hey, it's my money pit. So, there's many money pits out there, but this one's mine. Well, I think we'll need the clay bar. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a fun one, this one, isn't it? So, thankfully, my bonnet swing is still working. So, we have put a new bonnet cable on it as well. That's not in, so no idea how the bonnet managed to open, but that needs to be clipped in. We've been very lucky. <laughs> so, we've been very lucky there, actually. Uh, that the bonnet's opened again on it because we have had the bonnet closed, so I'll need to make sure that's attached. So, DRV valve we've done, obviously the belt water pump done as well, so hopefully it's all good, I'm not sure what this is. I'm sure I'm going to clean that or something. Anyway, we shall crack on, once we get it off the lift, we'll, we'll reveal if there's been any dramas. Right, so the brakes are working, but they're terrible, so I'll need to bleed them again. <laughs> so I bet before I had nothing, absolutely nothing, right? And I mean nothing, even a new master cylinder on it, we had absolutely nothing. So, what do we have here? Electronic supply parking, supply for left LED parking lamp, daytime running light. Supply for right. So I just got it's been unplugged. Here by crash sensor, open to short circuit. Hopefully it's just again because it's all been unplugged. So it will clear everything. And uh, it will, the aircon won't clear, there's no gas in it. Um, but hopefully the rest of the and hopefully it'll be scanned because I had no faults. Uh, basically, basically I'd get rid of them all. So I had obviously seen me doing the DRV valve for the fuel uh, rail, and you've seen obviously we had issues with that. Um, and I put the time belt on, and I wish I'd have filmed that guy there, but that's good. So engine control module, um, definitely no faults now. So an airbag one, hopefully. Hopefully that's just been something that's been unplugged. You know, sometimes when you run them with the things unplugged and it's something like that, a safety related issue, it won't clear it until you put the machine on it until you fixed it. So so hopefully then guys, that's all I need to do now is just bleed the brakes again on it. Um, I think maybe the front springs I've put on are right but the back ones are not, so she's got a bit of a rake on her at the minute. Uh, old sludge, old money pit. But thankfully, man, we've not got any faults with the engine. And although the brake pedal is really travelling a fair old distance there, um, I do have the brakes where what I was getting before was nothing. So nothing, so a bit. It's maybe just been a bit. No, I could bump it up at the minute, and there you go, I've got a pedal. But it's sinking a wee bit, so. The brakes are working, but. You know, it is bringing it to stop, so. so that's half the battle. I'm not going to get drive it, it's absolutely perfect, but. So I'll just surely just bleed the brakes and wash it uh, and I might, I might bleed the clutch on it as well although I'm getting the gears uh, well I'm getting them all I might just bleed it anyway, it feels a bit, it's been sitting for a year so it may feel funny oh no, that's meant to go back on my injectors you can see a mouse is eating it but no matter right, thanks for watching old sludge she's got 108,000 miles on her you know, but I do believe they build them good in Germany. Um, my dad prefers the Mercedes. I prefer the Audis. To be honest with you, I don't mind the Mercedes. As long as they're a built stick cart, no fans. Thanks for watching. Right, so the brakes are working, but they're terrible, so I'll need to bleed them again. <laughs> so I bet before I had nothing, absolutely nothing, right? And I mean nothing. Even a new master cylinder on it, we had absolutely nothing. So, what do we have here? Electronic supply parking, supply for left LED parking lamp, daytime running light. Supply for right. Sorry, just because it's been unplugged. 
here by car sensor we put this short circuit hopefully it's just again because it's all been unplugged so it will clear everything and uh, it will the aircon won't clear there's no gas in it um, but hopefully the rest of them do and hopefully they will scan because I had no faults uh, basically basically I've got rid of them all so I had obviously seen we're doing the DRV valve for the fuel uh, rail and you've seen obviously we had issues with that um, and I put the time belt on and I wish I'd have filmed that guy there but that's good so engine control module um, definitely no faults now so an airbag one hopefully hopefully that's just been something that's been unplugged you know, sometimes when you run them with the things unplugged and it's something like that a safety related issue it won't clear it until you put the machine on it and tell it you fixed it so so hopefully then guys that's all I need to do now is just bleed the brakes again on it um, I think maybe the front springs I've put on are right but the back ones are not so she's got a bit of a rake on her at the minute uh, old sludge, old money pit but thankfully man we won't get any faults with the engine and although the brake pedal is really travelling a fair old distance there um, I do have brakes where what I was getting before was nothing so nothing so a bit it's maybe just been a bit no, I could bump it up at the minute and there you go, I've got a pedal, but it's sinking a wee bit, so the brakes are working, but you know, it is bringing me a stop, so, so that's half the battle. I'm not going to get dry it, it's absolutely perfect, but so I'll just surely just bleed the brakes and wash it, uh, and I might, I might bleed the clutch on it as well, although I'm getting the gears, uh, well, I'm getting them all. Anyway, it feels a bit it's been sitting for, for a year, so it may feel funny. Oh no! That's meant to go back on my injectors and see a mouse is eating it. But no matter. Right, thanks for watching old sludge. She's got 108,000 miles on her, you know, but I do believe they build them good in Germany. Um, my dad prefers the Mercedes. I prefer the Audis. To be honest with you, I don't mind the Mercedes. As long as they're a built in Stuttgart, no fans. Thanks for watching. I've seen a light a day in a year. Driving home for Christmas. Six million dollar car. Rebuild. Why? Oh, Why? It's a big job. Look, it's got on it. Money pit and everything. <laughs> right, well, I'm out of need for that. And then we'll uh, get a little soap in. And then uh, we'll get scrubbing. After that, we're gonna clear bar out in this. I've got to take about a week, but we'll get that out, get that happening. Right, she's a, she's a bit sorry for herself. She's, she's running good. She's driving good. A couple of wee noises for the, the rear, for the dirty air. Uh, but we'll get that back on the ramp. And we've bled and bled and bled these brakes. New master cylinder, which we probably didn't need. Um, but I put one on it anyway. Um, and then we need to clean it all. So we need to clean it all. We we'll need to bleed the brakes again. It's not happy waiting on it. Look at the rear end. Um, we're going to do the front upper arms as well uh, on it. We're going to see if we can buy some tooling in for it. Uh, those bolts, the bag upper arm bolts. But look at the crap. This is the wing we've panel beated for now. Don't want to decide what kind of wing we're getting for it. We've got aircon pipes still to get. I transported the dog in it. But look at that. It's filthy. <coughs> Things first. Time this will be washed in maybe four years. So, diesel, everything. Hopefully, it's not a scratch. So, it'll be interesting to see how good a job we can do this. So, as they say, let's get cracking. Hey, right, so, big sludge. We have cleaned it all up. We've uh, put everything new on it basically. So, new pads, discs, all round. Um, one new caliper, four new flexi pipes, four new coil springs, rear shock absorbers, all the front suspension arms, put a DRV valve on it, put loads of bits of plastic, uh, new plastics on it as well, new exhaust clamp, um, type of water pump, DRV valve, air filter, air filter, fuel filter, we need to order this up, so you were missing a bit of plastic there, so we need to order that up as well, but just do back over it, check every single nut and bolt that we've been Tiles first, um, and it's still doing a great. 
hit the back, it just feels like it's skipping a bit and I feel like it's a wee bit higher than it was originally. 